For this tutorial, I'm using a different account from the one that I had been using earlier. If you go to this pull down menu at the very top, you can see that right now I'm logged in with a trainer account. And in other tutorials, I have been recording under my OS 10 student 2 account. I'm using this trainer account because it has much more files stored in the hard drive rather than the student account, which is almost brand new, so it doesn't have that many files. And I want to show you some of the searching capabilities in OS 10. As we had seen in other videos, the Mac has a lot of different features that allow you to organize the files and the things that you access quickly. For example, on any finder window, you get the sidebar. We have discussed the doc where you can drop your most used applications as well as files and folders on the right hand side. But if you have hundreds and hundreds of files and you're looking for something, these tools are just not going to cut it. And this is where searching becomes important. Your Mac has a very powerful search engine called Spotlight. And there are a number of ways that you can access Spotlight. One of them, from the top right in the menu bar, this little magnifying glass, when you click on it, it'll bring this really large search field right in the center of your screen. And here you can just type any term that you're looking for. I'll give you an example. Last year, I did a newsletter for the building where we were highlighting the increase in the energy bills. So I'm going to use a term that is actually in the newsletter. And I do remember that we use the BC Utilities Commission in the body of our text. Now, as soon as you start typing, Spotlight starts searching. And as you can see here, it found something on Wikipedia about the BC Utilities Commission. It's actually a definition. We can see on the right hand side a preview of the article on Wikipedia. It found my pages document, the text that I was using for my pages document. It also found a PDF that I exported for my project. But if we scroll down, you're going to see that it also found a bunch of other things that don't necessarily relate to my search itself, as the document that I have highlighted is the one that I was looking for. But nevertheless, what I want to show you here and what I want to highlight is that Spotlight not only searches your local hard drive and not only searches the file names, but it also searches the contents of the files and it also goes online and searches for the terms that you're typing in in the searching field. This search engine, it is really powerful. Check this out. I'm going to do a quick search for Yosemite National Park. I actually don't even have to finish the word park. And take a look at what we found. We found maps locations. And if we scroll down, this is some information from Yelp. So we can actually phone them from here. We see some pictures that are shared online. We see a Wikipedia entry. And we see a bunch of other stuff related to the Yosemite National Park found on the web. But it doesn't stop there. Let me just delete that. And try something that may not be related to a search, like 6 times 12. And as you can see, it actually gives me the calculation of 6 times 12, as well as some other searches online. Furthermore, let's say that we have something like 25 pounds. And I'm really not used to pounds, so I can see that it's 11.34 kilograms. Probably, in your case, it might be the other way around. You may be searching for 35 kilograms. There you see it's an equivalent to 77.16 pounds. By the way, what to do once you find something? Let me go back to my original search of the BC Utilities Commission and select the file that I'm looking for. Yeah, this is the one that I want. Well, the only thing that I need to do from here, if I want to work on this file, is just double click on it from the search results. And because I double clicked on the pages document, it goes and opens up the document with pages. So from here I can go and edit. By the way, let me just scroll down. This is where it says the BC Utilities Commission. It's actually on the first paragraph. 